Okay, so here's how we do this. How do you show students that have maybe not a Photoshop class how to use basic operations? Well, I showed you how to 3D model, didn't I? Uh, let's go like this. Let's go. How about pattern? Yeah, ugly patterns. I love it. All kinds of crazy. I like this one. It's rather small, though. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Wow. Okay, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to bring it into my color template. Now, keep in mind, you do not have to use the ugly texture like that. I just picked that. Okay. So I'm going to make a new layer and call this color. And then I'm going to right click and move to layer color. But you see how I just, I just took that. And I want color to be on top. Let's go like this. And let me think for a second. Raise to top. Maybe because this one is, oh yeah, gotcha. Okay, so this one right here, um, its opacity got stricken. See? Now it's okay. Maybe I want a different pattern for the sides. Or lower that back down. So I can affect the overall layer. It's a little easier to look at. And then I'll make one called text. And we'll say this is the back of the card. Okay, I just type that out. Now if I wanted to affect the text to make it bigger, I'd go like this. And if I wanted to move it around, I go like that. Let's say I wanted to augment the shape of the initial um, box that I put down. This is how I do that. That way, when I go back to the arrow, I go like this. So that's how you could put text in if you wanted to put text in. What I want you to do is basically import texture and words in here to decorate the box without getting too technical about it. Here's, let's say I have this texture, I can hit Control D. And here's where you can lock out the template so you don't move it. And that makes a copy of it. Okay. Maybe for these side pieces, I don't want a texture. Maybe I just want white. 
in that case I can just shut this template off. Okay. In fact, I'm pretty happy with just this. I mean, I, I'm not going to be too picky about this. So you did a lot for this unit. So decorate it as much as you want. Maybe I'll put front of box here. Again, it's, pr it's proof that you know how to put the texture back on the 3D model. Okay, so let's go save as. And I want to save this as something else. Okay, PNG is what I want. There it is. Then I want to name this color, not template. You never write over your template because the template that you is what you give to the artist for them to color. If you are the artist, that's good too, but you'd have to have Photoshop skills for that. All right. Let's go on to the next video where we apply this to the model.